So I'm John Mullen, and uh, I just want to make a video real quick to tell you about the three choices. A lot of people don't know about the three choices, but if you watch this video, you'll know. So before I tell you what the three choices are, I'm going to put on some music, and I'm going to tell you what the three choices represent and why they're important so I just got done watching this video on Facebook and you should watch it if you have a chance it's uh, Morgan Freeman on racism it's about a minute video that was shared on Facebook that I had the opportunity to watch which kind of made me want to talk about the three choices because I realized just by watching that video that most people in the world probably don't know about the three choices so what the three choices are is the three choices are the solution to any social problem that we have any problem that we have in our society we have three choices to overcome it now I, I do want you to have hope and I do want you to be happy and rest assured knowing that we will overcome all of these problems any problem that we have socially as a society as a race as humanity any problem that we have we will actually overcome it so you don't have to worry about whether we will overcome it the only question is which one of the three choices will we use to overcome this social problem um, so there's three choices and I, I guess I'll just tell you what the three choices are the first choice is we choose in ourselves to overcome the problem so Morgan Freeman was talking about racism and he he asked him I usually don't play videos on my video because the quality is not really that good what are you doing what, what do you want this life is for I'm Jewish okay what do you do with this Oh, oh, why not? Do you want one? No, 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 I, I, I don't need it. I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism and stop talking about it? Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, he asked Morgan Freeman, how are we going to get rid of racism? And he just says, stop talking about it. Well, that's choice number one, really. Um, choice number one is we choose to change. We choose to rise up above the issue and change the problem. Whatever the problem in society may be, and this given example, the problem is racism. How do we change it? Well, we can go with choice one. We can stop talking about it. We can change. We can not be racist anymore. We can, we can decide to look at the world in a different viewpoint and think about things differently that's always choice one now if we really rationalize it and think about it choice one is not a very viable option just for the given fact that right now there's about seven billion people in the world and in order for us to really surpass any real problem we're gonna need to get the majority of those people on board even with racism the majority of the world isn't racist it's really just a small portion of the world that is racist a small percentage of the world's population is racist but look how big of a problem it is so it, it, it's definitely never going to do us good just to be like well we just need most people to choose choice one and to choose option one and just say in their hearts that i'm not racist and not be racist or over, uh, overpass, succumb, rise above whatever social issue that it is um, that we're giving to our choice model. So we really need everybody to embrace that philosophy. So it's not choice one just does not seem a viable option, but it is an option. We could all of us just decide, yo, let's not be racist. This is stupid, you know. Hey, let's not have wars. Let's not kill people whatever probably not gonna happen right so choice one doesn't seem very very uh, possible so there's there, there's always choice two and choice two is we use technology 
we use our advanced education and our advanced knowledge and intellect and ingenuity um, and understanding of technology and our, our innovation we use technology to eliminate these traits, eliminate these problems by forcing ourselves into another evolution. We bump ourselves up the evolution change and we really transcend humanity. We become something more than humanity because now we have uh, some digital augmentation and it doesn't really even have to be dig digital. The, the fact is we have some engineered, it could even be a quantum organism, it could even be a living organism but we have some engineered machine really some intelligence some machine that some technology that we've created ourselves that we incorporate into ourselves to change ourselves to better ourselves to overcome issues so that is actually a pretty viable option because it'd be a lot easier just to inject everybody and expose everybody to this technology than to basically sit in our hand and wait and hope that everybody's just going to change for the better because i mean come on you're a person is that realistic is it realistic to say you know what how do we rise above the fact that a very small amount of people in the world have all the wealth and have all the money and they really just want to fuck all of us they really don't care about us at all they just really want us to give them even more of this useless shit that they don't need um or, or can can we really expect a fat cat just to lay down and be like, I don't want to be a fat cat no more. You can have all my mice. No, it, it doesn't work like that. So option one, choice one doesn't seem possible. Choice two, on the other hand, um, y you can Google it if you want. There is a, there is a lot of advances. And there's a lot of advances in neuroscience. So choice two actually seems a pretty viable option. Um, it, it seems a pretty uh, a pretty realistic option. Now, granted, there would be a lot of downfalls maybe with that option, but choice two does seem like an option. So, and just remember, there's only three choices, and we are going to overcome. We are going to overcome all our issues by choosing one of these three options. So choice one is we just choose ourselves. We just make a choice ourselves to change and not allow that to be a problem. And we would have to do that collectively. Choice two is we have some technology and we use technology to change ourselves, to evolve ourselves, to get rid of our problems. Choice three is we die. So that's pretty easy to, to explain. For example, if we if we do if we do a dimensional analysis and the the, the dimension we use is time, and we look back in time and we we look at the different ratios of racism, and you know we see that over time there's less and less racist people, you know, and we can look at that through any real problem in history, and we can see. You know, hey, here's this problem we're having, this social problem, and as time goes by, we're still having that problem, but we're having it in less quantities, and the more time goes by, the less of that problem that we have, even though that problem's still there. What does that tell us? That eventually, all the racist motherfuckers are going to die. Now, who's to say that more racist motherfuckers um, aren't going to get born and aren't going to die? Well, that's the thing. They are going to get bored and they are going to die. It doesn't matter if more racist people get born because those they're, they're going to die too. So eventually, we all die out. And that's everybody. You know, eventually we all die out. And then all our social problems, all our social problems are solved because we died out. So those are the three options that we have for any problem that, any problem that we have in humanity. We can either choose to change it ourselves. We can choose to use technology and incorporate technology into our lives to change it or we could die so my advice to you as a computer engineer going into the field of computational neuroscience to be able to create quantum BCIs to be able to create devices that can transport digital information and interface with not just your brain but your whole nervous system including you know your whole body because that's what your brain is your brain is an interface to the rest of your body and an extension of your body it's an interface to be able to get 
information from outside your body into your it, into your body and that's what my field of interest is so uh, with all the love that I have in my heart for humanity and for you that the best advice that I could give you if you don't like problems in this world you don't want problems and you ever look and be like you know this world sucks I wish it was different well if you don't want some crazy motherfucker like me coming along and putting a computer chip inside you and turning you into basically a drone and you don't want to die then I suggest you change and I suggest that you be a better person because that's the only way that anything's going to happen and you can't stop with just changing and being a better person you also have to encourage your brother your sister your fellow man to be a better person and to care about the rest of humanity because we are one organism we are just one being sure we're all individuals we're all separate um, but we're still just humans all of us so those are your those are your three choices you can fucking die you can let somebody stick technology in you and mandate that technology is put into you to kill the killer trait which is just going to end up really in you forfeiting control of your conscious and your body because that's what will happen you will no longer have control of your conscious you will, no have, you will no longer have free will you will not be able to think or process or feel emotions because with the computer brain interface that's exactly the types of things that you're able to eliminate if you don't want that and you don't want to fucking die then you know do something do something about the shitty ass world that we live in and all the problems that we have other than just bitch about it and not give a fuck about it do something if you wanna if you wanna instead of do something instead of doing something if you wanna look at me and say well John what the fuck are you doing about it I'll tell you what I'm doing about it I don't really think that choice one is a really viable option because I don't think all you motherfuckers are ever going to decide and by you motherfuckers I don't really mean you I really mean these motherfuckers in control it's really who I mean uh, because they're not gonna lay down for us and they're not gonna be like you know what we don't actually want to be in control we just want the world to operate in harmony no that's not what that that's not what governments want they do not want us to operate in harmony they want to fucking sub to, to that subjugate us or whatever that fucking word is they they want to be in control of us they want us as a little sheep in a pen doing what the fuck that we want to do until it's time for them to come shave all our fucking fur and sell it all right so that's that's what i'm doing i i'm not really changing myself because i don't think that i really need to change anything and i don't think that the rest of the world is ever going to be able to simultaneously all change themselves and that's how we're i don't think that choice one is how we overcome our problems. I think it's choice two. I think I create with uh, the rest of the scientific community that's working on the same things. We create some neural device, some quantum BCI to interface with brains and we understand thought process. We understand uh, the, the different cortexes and the different parts of your brain, especially your limbic system, that deal with human emotions and human characteristics and we're able just to program those out because I don't want to die so if instead of doing something about it you want to ask me what the fuck I'm doing about the world's problems well I'm developing computer chips that we can put in our heads um, and fix all the problems through smart software so if you don't like that fucking idea then do something yourself that's all I can tell you you know if you don't like the world that we live in then change it because it really needs to be changed and we could really do that we could really do that if we wanted to um, as humanity we could but I don't think we're going to so stay tuned for the next episode where you ask it's a fucking computer chip in you and I'll go back to making stupid videos now